crime. There's no nothing. How do you impeach? You had no crime. In fact, there's no impeachment. There's no, their own lawyer said there's no impeachment. What are we doing here? What are we doing, asked the president. Well, let's put that question to Stephanie Grisham. She's the White House Press Secretary, pre, ah, sorry, Press Secretary and Communications Director. Good morning and Merry Christmas. Good morning and Merry, Good Merry morning. Christmas. Good to have you. What in the world is going on now? What's the White House view about what happens next here since Nancy Pelosi is holding back the articles? Well, as the president has said, we're hoping and for a very quick uh, trial in the Senate, which clearly that's not going to happen right now. It looks like, you know, the House Democrats have thrown our country into chaos for absolutely no reason. They impeached a president who did absolutely nothing wrong, and now they don't have the guts to see it through and send it over to the Senate. So we're in a holding pattern, obviously, which is unfortunate mm -hmm. because, again, it's, it's put the country into chaos. Stephanie, I'm going to have to correct you because Nancy Pelosi did indeed deliver the articles of impeachment last night. Watch. I brought you two gifts, Mr. President. They're the articles of impeachment. Oh, oh great. You give it to Mitch in the Senate and everything is gravy, baby. You know how sometimes you get a gift and you like it so much you want to just keep it as a gift for yourself? You can't do that. Mm, watch me. Good luck at the State of the Union. <laughs> <laughs> well, she loved it so much. It was a big rush. We had to do it right away. Now, impeach. And then, <laughs> it's good, right? And then wait. Why? I think that, you know, I've been saying this for a while. I think that she overplayed her hand. I think that, you know, they, they don't have a case, and it's so very clear. And she knows that when it gets over to the Senate, there will be actual evidence introduced and actual witnesses that will show even more that this president did nothing wrong. So now she's just going to hold on to these things. It's, it's like she's taken her toys and, and gone home. It's, it's really, really unfortunate because the president does deserve due process, and the president does deserve to be acquitted. And this country deserves to know that their president did absolutely nothing. Wrong. Stephanie, it's clear the negatives, the negative results that are occurring right now because of them hanging on to this, right? The president is, is not being afforded due process. Americans are confused. They're turned off by the process. It's, it's uh, becoming obvious and transparent that it's just political gamesmanship and actually wasn't about substance mm -hmm. or evidence. Tell me if there's any positives whatsoever to her holding on to this. I, I do not see any positives. And I, I've got to say, you know, obviously this is not working out for them. Polling is showing more and more that not only are Americans tuning out, but people are uh, are saying that this is a sham and that the impeachment should not happen. And, you know, I think there should be a concern, too, that this is a political game that could affect our country for years to come, no matter what the party. If one party does not like a sitting president, they can just say, we're going to go ahead and impeach him. I mean, this is dangerous for our country. And I think the American people know that. So I think there are no, there's nothing good about anything with this process, let alone her holding on to things. Stephanie, we've seen the economic news. It's been gangbusters. In mm -hmm. fact, there's a new uh, big money managers a survey on the economy recently showed that 68 percent of these big money managers believe the recession is unlikely in 2020. The opposite of that means they think the growth is going to continue in this year, in election year, which no one can ignore. But you, you also can't ignore the fact that they've been pushing. We're going to play a, a, a few clips here of the media wanting to foment the idea that recession is coming. Watch. Recession jitters. President Trump said to be rattled as economic alarm bells cause a wild week on Wall Street. There are indicators that the U.S. could be headed for a recession. There are some rough waters ahead, maybe a recession. The fears of a coming recession spiked on the heels of a key economic indicator, what's called an inverted yield curve. The yield curve has inverted every before every U.S recession since yeah. 1955. They say potential recession on the horizon. Recession, 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 recession. Stephanie, look out for that uh, pesky yield curve. It's coming for you. So the, uh, the, <laughs> the election didn't work. Resistance didn't work. Now the recession isn't happening. Uh, your response to the wish list of Democrats, hoping he fails, but the reality of a very strong economy. It's hard for me during the Christmas season. I'm trying to actually be positive, but I, I'll say the media should should be ashamed. I mean, this is what they've done since day one with the president taking office. First, it was the Mueller report. We've got montages of the, of the media indicting him before he even took office, actually. So it doesn't surprise me that you had a montage of them saying the word recession. The fact of the matter is we've got job growth. Our economy is booming. The stock market continues to have great highs. The president just uh, has been working on USMCA, and, of course, he signed NDA 
FAA and the spending legislation that gives veterans uh, more support. It's border wall funding. We've got uh, defense spending. We've given our, our very brave military troops a pay raise. We've got a sixth arm of uh, the military with Space Force. The president continues to work, and we're very, very proud of that fact. Um, so the, the media, the Dems, they can continue on with this. If they don't want to get on board, that's okay. 2020 is around the corner, and we'll have one Stephanie, more real quick, those are a lot of victories you just laid out for the president. That's positive. On the other hand, yeah. almost everything you mentioned is more federal spending, uh, whether it's uh, Space Force, uh, the wall, other things. What about the debt that the president talked about in the 2016 campaign? Yeah, the debt's very important, and he's going to continue to keep an eye on that. But he also ran on the importance of our, our border security, and he's uh, he's made that something that's uh, very important. And veterans do deserve all of our support. They've been, I think, a forgotten group for a very long time. Uh, same with our military. They go out there and put their lives on the line all the time. So you have to balance the debt with these people who need our support and with our national security, and that's something the president, as president, has to decide on every day. And considered against the proposals of a Green New Deal and Medicare for All, which don't seem <laughs> to be useful to the bottom line. Stephanie, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. We appreciate, appreciate you coming in. Merry thank Christmas. You. Thank, thank you. you.